Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gordon Frayne, and today we're jumping in to compare Internet Computer Protocol with Solana. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to grab your free copy of my book, The Rise of Bitcoin. It's going to be the first link in the description below. Make sure you grab it while it's free. It is my gift to you. It won't be free forever, so grab it while you can. If you enjoy the video content as well, please smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button as well, and hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified every time we drop a new video. We've got videos dropping pretty much every single day on the channel, so you're going to want to get notified so you can hit your crypto goals. Right, let's jump into the video on today's CP versus Solana and all of the hype surrounding these two blockchains. ICP has been getting a lot of hype lately, and there's a very dedicated community around internet computer protocol. Lots of very impressive statistics on paper when we look at it, and we're going to jump into some of these statistics right now. But can it really stack up against the beast that is Solana in the next couple of years? Well, zooming in and looking at the comparison on some of the key metrics for internet computer versus Solana, we're going to hone in on a few of them in particular here. Average block time, 0.045 seconds versus 0.4, so technically almost 10 times faster for average block times. Blocks per second, it's able to process almost 10 times more blocks per second than Solana as well at 22.5 versus 2.5. Uh, transactions per second, uh, apparently no limit on intranet computer, whereas we've got about a 50,000 transaction per second theoretical limit with Solana. And then average transaction fee being 0 0.0006 on ICP versus 0 0.00025 on Solana. So, you know, lots of very impressive numbers here when it does come to intranet computer and even when we look at some of the other um, metrics here on this particular graph, it does, in theory, stack up as a very impressive blockchain with very high throughput, very fast transaction speeds, and very quick time to finality. But as we'll see in a few minutes, you know, all of this, all of these numbers are great in theory, but how do they stack up when we actually compare it? with what's going on in terms of adoption and what's going on in terms of what's actually happening on chain with internet computer versus Solana. Again, jumping in to hone in on some of the key metrics here. This is called out on the ICP wiki. Um, again, looking at the average uh, transactions per second with ICP versus Solana, uh, we can see the average finality is 1.4 seconds versus 12 seconds. Average block time, one second versus um, half a second here, average transaction cost. Um, here they're calling it out as 0 0.0012, whereas 0 0.005 on Solana. Uh, it consumes significantly less energy than Solana for transaction processing as well. It does not have, have as many nodes, so technically less um, decentralized than Solana. And then on-chain storage costs um, significantly lower as a cost per gigabyte than Solana as well. So again, ICP does stack up with some impressive metrics when it comes to all of the core attributes you would expect for a high throughput, high speed blockchain. But if we actually zoom out and look at some of the adoption and look at some of what's actually going on on chain, again, we know Solana is one of the biggest blockchains in terms of adoption, in terms of what's actually happening on chain on a daily, weekly basis. We're seeing huge amounts of volume going through Solana, especially in the past couple of months. Lots of stuff happening with meme coins and the meme coin ecosystem on Solana. We've got, you know, meme coins that stack up to be worth tens of billions when we think about the meme coin ecosystem on Solana alone. And huge amounts of monthly active users and monthly active addresses on the Solana network. And if we look at something like DeFi, again, in comparison, and I know... I know that ICP is not 100% focused on DeFi, but again, Solana is continuing to chip into the DeFi share that Ethereum holds. And 
ICP is yet to really make any kind of big dent when it comes to decentralized finance. We've got Solana as the fourth largest chain when it comes to total value locked within the entire decentralized finance ecosystem. We can see there's about 4.56 billion US dollars in terms of total value locked on Solana versus going all the way down to 46th place, I believe. We've got ICP here in 46th place with just under $80 million in terms of total value locked on ICP when it comes to the decentralized finance space. So again, we know that Ethereum is the king when it comes to decentralized finance, but Solana is continuing to chip away and we're seeing a lot more protocols being built on Solana when it comes to DeFi. Lots of stuff happening in the Solana ecosystem for decentralized finance. And if ICP ultimately wants to be a competitor of Solana or, you know, gain more share in the market, um, we would probably want to be seeing it making more moves to create more TBL and lock up more TBL in terms of the overall DeFi ecosystem. Jumping over to look at some of the on-chain metrics again for Solana here, just looking at the numbers in terms of you know, total transactions that are happening every single day, we can see that these are in the tens of millions. We've been trending upwards for, you know, the past while as well. We can see that as of yesterday or the past couple of days, we're doing in the range of, you know, 30 to 33 million transactions per day, every single day happening on the Solana blockchain. And again, if we compare that to ICP going over to the internet computer dashboard here, we can see that we're having volumes on ICP of around 29,000 transactions per day versus something like 32 million transactions per day for the Solana blockchain. So again, we're looking at a factor of, you know, 100 times less volume happening in terms of daily transactions on internet computer versus Solana right now. And in my opinion, we're going to need to see more adoption. We're going to need to see more network effects start to play out for ICP in terms of getting more users on the blockchain, in terms of getting more transactions and more volume flowing through internet computer if it really is to compete with Solana. Again, we can see the number of active addresses on Solana on a daily basis is in excess of 1 million daily active addresses and users on the network. So again, we're seeing this pretty consistent over time. This is the monthly active addresses. And we can see that, you know, even since Q4 of 2023 on Solana, we have been consistently over the 20 million users or 20 million active addresses every single month going as high as 38 million here in March and even as high as 41.65 million here in May. So ICP is not seeing that type of adoption and that type of um, consistency with its um, monthly active addresses and their transactions per day. So, you know, I get it. I, I, I'm not trying to knock ICP too much because in theory, a lot of the numbers and the metrics when it comes to the capabilities of transactions per second, time to finality, uh, block times is very, very impressive but it just does not stack up in terms of monthly active addresses, adoption and users versus Solana right now in June of 2024. Again, this is monthly active addresses for a number of the leading blockchains in the space. And we can see here again with the green color, Solana making up a significant chunk of the uh, largest blockchains here in terms of daily active addresses again tron in red here sui in the blue color we've got optimism near ethereum bnb base and arbitrum all on this list and icp is not doing the type of volume to even be considered here in the top 10 chains for daily active addresses so again i just took this snapshot from the dashboard we just looked at and similar with icp but there is, you know, still a ways to go for ICP to get to that type of adoption that we've seen with Solana over the past number of months and even extended out to, you know, 12 to 24 months. We just have not got the same type of volume. We don't have the same type of active addresses every single day, every single month. And, you know, there's still a lot of work to do 
for ICP in terms of adoption if it really is to become a true competitor to Solana. So that was just a quick overview of Solana versus internet computer and breaking down some of the statistics and looking at some of the data, the on-chain data that we're actually seeing in terms of adoption and in terms of transactions and everything that's happening on chain. So let us know in the comments below, are you still bullish on ICP yourself? Are you holding a bag of ICP for this particular bull run? Are you seeing more adoption with internet computer yourself? And where do you think that adoption is going to go over the next 12 to 18 months? I'm not doubting that in theory and on paper, it is very possible we will see, you know, a lot of throughput on ICP. And from a technology standpoint, some of the metrics that they outline for the capabilities of what ICP is able to do are very impressive. But again, if you cannot get users, if you cannot get people using your chain, if you cannot get volume and transactions going through the blockchain, then ultimately you do not have something that is sustainable for growth. So let us know in the comments below, are you a Solana bull? Are you an ICP bull? Maybe you're bullish on both of them, but let us know where you think the price of these tokens is going to. Where do you think adoption is going to? And do you see ICP ever flipping Solana in the near future? As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below. Hit that subscribe button as well and hit the bell notification icon so you can get notified every time we drop a new video. Make sure to grab your free copy of my book, The Rise of Bitcoin. It's going to be the link in the description below. It will not be free forever, but you can grab a 100% free PDF copy of the book. It's my gift to you. Make sure to go ahead and grab it right now. And as always, we will catch you in the next one.